to a very special episode of Media Fracas. This is our quarantine COVID-19 episode. Because I'm trapped in my house, just like you're trapped in yours. We can't go anywhere. Um, guess I'm not essential, as they call it. Um, I sure don't feel essential. Uh, but hey, since I'm trapped in my house, I might as well give you the grand tour. Uh, we're gonna check out my movie prop collection. Um, gonna take you inside the music vault with all the guitars, and uh, we're gonna see uh, some of my cool cars too. So get ready to see some awesome stuff today. So sit back and relax, and uh, this is gonna be a little different kind of episode we're gonna do. Um, you know what? Um, since I'm quarantined, just sitting around the house bored. I know, after you see this stuff, you're going to say, how can this man be bored? But it's still boring. So why don't we start the tour, shall we? All right, this is the area as soon as you come down the stairs into the, uh, the cool basement, which is nothing but wood grain paneling. This, what you're looking at right now, is a uh, evidence poster used in the movie The Watcher, starring Keanu Reeves. Down there on the pedestal, an original Hellraiser puzzle box. Belt buckle from Doom. Sticker from Austin Powers Gold Member. A guitar of the style used in the sh comedy short Bad News. It's very funny, check it out. A piece of the Excelsior, some production art from Star Trek, and that right there is the TV used in Resident Evil, the final chapter, where the main character, I forget her name, Celine where she smashes a monster with it. She pulls it off the wall and smashes a monster. Okay, starting on this wall, that was used in Scooby-Doo, the movie, with Matthew Lillard. It's actually signed by him. That was on the front of the ATV. Uh, Bebop's shirt from uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows. We got a Star Wars Nemodian appliance, a uh, couple of vintage video games, handheld video games, an old TV. Um, down here is a huge, huge model uh, from Grant McCune Studios and uh, they were known for reusing a lot of different props. So this would have been used in anything from Speed, Godzilla, or Dante's Peak. Very cool piece, very detailed. Okay. This guy right here is Freddy Krueger, stunt mask used in Nightmare on Elm Street 5. Another Nemoidian. Uh, Shredder's shirt, used, also used in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Uh, that's the mask from Revenge of the Mask. Definitely check it out, a good friend of mine made that. Alright, we're, now we're back over here. Okay, everyone knows I'm an avid uh, retro gamer, so... And of course we have even more movie props. So let's check it out. Starting over here, original Star Trek V phaser. Got some action figures, the TV. Down here, Nintendo 64. Uh, that is a top-loading Nintendo. Sega Genesis, PlayStation. Another Nemodian mask, I have a whole bunch of those. Uh, Xbox 360, Xbox, Atari 2600. All right, over here, yeah. Xenomorph from my toy review, if you remember him. Make it focus there, there we go. I'm sure you remember that guy. If not, go watch my videos. It's in the it's in the links. Okay, we got some more movie props. Uh, that was used in um, Deliver Us From Evil. Some aliens patches. An original Star Trek com badge. Some more com badges from Star Trek II. Those were uh, worn by the crew of the regular one space station. Bill Pullman shirt from Independence Day with the tie. That's one of my favorite pieces right there. Basketball. Are you kidding me? How cool is that? An original basketball. Uh, that is a uh, laser disc player because I love retro media. Speaking of which, Odyssey with a VHS player. So, oh, here's a tentacle. This is from uh, The Train, a movie that never got made. It was uh, going to be a horror movie. Uh, the creature was designed by um, H.R. Giger. Very cool. So this is the gaming area. So let's take a look on this wall over here. 
from the Forrest Ackerman collection, if I can get that in focus. That is an original spaceship from this island Earth. How cool is that? That cost me an arm and a leg. Poltergeist, that little guy right there. Focus, focus. Uh, Dolphin Tail 2. Um, the dolphin actually uses this quite a bit in the movie. Back to the Future DeLorean Time Machine Miniatures. Poltergeist. 2001 Space Odyssey. Uh, no, I'm sorry, 2010. And there's the crappy couch that I like to that I rest my feet on at night. My cool Kiss guitar table where I keep my remotes and I put my snacks. All right, um, let's move on over here. I don't know if you can see this. Over here, this is my uh, microwave oven, my little wet bar. Uh, over here, there's canine. Now we're getting into the part of the studio that you guys know and love. There it is. Everything right there. Here's the, my table, my dining table. Nice and cool. This is a miniature spaceship. Awesome. So let's take a look at what we got over here. Do you guys recognize all this stuff? A bunch of retro Atari games down there. A Rob fan. Uh, that's the Yamaha Blue Saraceno guitar. Uh, denim shirt worn by Bill Paxton and Twister. Uh, masks from The Mask and The Revenge of the Mask. Go check that out on YouTube. There's my very first guitar. Yamaha RGX612. Say hi to K9 again. Hi K9. Very cool. Made by Wendell Blackwood Curtis. Look him up online. Wend Wendell Blackwood. Very, very good work. Scott Ian's Knot Guitar, made by ESP. This was hanging up in the Hard Rock Cafe, now it's hanging up in my basement. Vreese's shirt and vest worn in Alien Resurrection. Uh, the Fifth Wave, worn by the main character. Um, Master of Disguise. Uh, Ty, born Ninja Turtles props, Baxter, St Baxter Stockman's vest. Um, we have Casey Jones' shirt, worn by Stephen Amell. Uh, some random uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind toys, a frisbee and the alien bendable figure, because I'm such a nerd. Uh, retro games, Sega Genesis, tabletop. We got some Atari games down there, Nintendo, more Atari, more guitars. That is the Phil Collin, the white one. It's the uh, Phil Collin archtop made by Jackson. Over here we have the Bruce Kulick ESP. As, a, as you know, he was a guitar player for KISS. Um, you know, we're going to shed some more light up there in a minute. Some random stuff up there. Vest. Uh, I was told it was used in Robocop. A swing arm from Star Wars. Baby's Day Out. There's the creepy baby hat. I don't know if you can see that. How cool is that? So, moving right along. Alright, on this wall. This needs no introduction. One of Don Johnson's blazers used in Miami Vice. How cool is that? You know what? I love the 80s. This is, this is the 80s. What can I say? So now we're gonna move into the other side of the basement, uh, the man cave. Okay, another big TV. That's where I play my Atari 7800. Uh, ColecoVision, how much fun is that? We're gonna have a good night now with ColecoVision. Um, so again, once again, uh, Check out my sister station, 8-Bit Crusaders, where that's all we talk about is retro video games. So if you like my humor and want to see more of me, check out 8-Bit Crusaders. Look it up right now. Well, watch the rest of this video. Uh, over there is a droid, Star Wars droid piece. Uh, some random autographs, a uh, cool Han Solo toy. Uh, so there's the back wall again. There's okay, here's the music studio area. And what we have here is not one, not two, but three Yamaha DX keyboards. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. We have two DX7s and a DX9. Pretty sweet. Look over here, we have another Phil Collin guitar. How awesome is that? You can never have too many of those. Over there, we have all the electronic gizmos and gadgets and... Uh, drum machines, uh, samplers, all kinds of good stuff over there. That is the laptop where I do all my editing. 
Uh, down below is a really cool uh, Marshall JCM 2000 amp. Uh, moving right along, let's, let me see if I can pan this. There's a Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, bust from Conan. There's some original Conan artwork. Um, Brad Pitt autographed, uh, some Star Trek stuff. That is William Shatner's gold chains that he wore in Free Enterprise. And let's pan down just a little bit. Okay, now we got another Yamaha DX. This is a DX27. Uh, Roland D20 and a Kirkswell K1000. I love retro keyboards. So I have a lot of fun down here. Okay, let's pan this way. Uh, left is the Arnold Schwarzenegger screen used um, milk carton from the sixth day. He handled that right in the beginning of the movie. Uh, next along is Arnold, Arnold's t-shirt worn in the same movie, the sixth day. Awesome. We got uh, some little knickknacks, uh, a piece of an ad a piece of the Death Star, a piece of the Nostromo, uh, a couple black hole figures, and more vintage keyboards. We have a up top is a Korg wave station. A lot of fun, lots of cool textures you can get with that. And down below is my very first ever synthesizer, the Alesis Quadroverb. Okay, through this door are two things. One, my washroom. Two, the guitar vault. Okay, here we are. We're going to have some on the floor. I've run out of room. Look at that. And here she is, the 1981 DeLorean DMC-12. Okay, here's the interior of the DeLorean. All decked out in gray leather. Five-speed manual transmission, CD player, this one is really low miles, so in case you ever wondered what the interior of a DeLorean looks like, there it is, and a quick tidbit, um, I get asked this question quite a bit, that, that window right there, yeah that's about as, that's about as much as the window rolls down just as you see it right there. So it's kind of tough going through the, the drive through to get fast food. Can't really fit a large cup through there. So gotta pop the door open. But hey, anytime you can show off the, these doors, it's gotta be pretty cool. Okay, now that we've seen how cool this baby is, you wanna go see some of the other cars? Let's go right over here to this other garage and let's see what we got. Let's go. All right, cool car number two, 2010 Jack Roush Mustang. Uh, 450 horsepower. This thing is fast. Uh, if you looked up fast in the dictionary, you would see this. Uh, so what do you say we have a look at it? Let's check it out. Now where the DeLorean DMC-12 was built for looks and style and fashion, this car is made for speed with its 450 supercharged horsepower. Um, this thing can do the quarter mile and you know I haven't tested that yet so I don't know. Um, in an upcoming show uh, I'll give you a full road test of this baby but um, but yeah I and mean, this thing is pure pure Ford American muscle power. Uh, it's an awesome car extremely comfortable leather seats uh, it's just a, a joy to drive. Uh, it's an automatic. I know some people would probably prefer a, uh, a stick shift. But, you know, this one, it's more of a car for cruising. Because, you know, in my younger days, I've lost my license quite a few times. So I don't want to go back to that. So, you know what? It's just for fun. Why not? There's one more car to look at. So uh, let's check it out. It's right over here. Pontiac Le Mans. Uh, 
All right, here's a couple of bonus items before we go. This is uh, part of the um, Epsilon 9 station from Star Trek The Motion Picture. Down here are some Vulcan ears from Star Trek 3. And last but not least, a Tom Petty autographed Traveling Wilburys limited edition guitar. This also came from the Hard Rock collection. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this tour of my uh, humble abode. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to drop me a like. Uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite uh, cool thing you saw today was. And uh, maybe I'll send you a prize. Let me know in the description. Uh, there'll be an email address. And uh, you know what? Stay safe. Don't leave the house. You know, we're all in this together. And we're all going to get through it. And we're going to be fine. It's going to be awesome. Uh, coming out the other side is going to make us all that much more stronger. So keep your head up, and uh, we'll see you more for uh, next time for some more media fracas. Thanks once again for, for tuning in.